Strand Proy was the picturesque start for day four of the Bowls Ladies Tour before the peloton travelled to the finish in Wert, in the southeast of the Netherlands. Within the flat 124 kilometres, the riders would face a final 10 kilometre circuit three times ahead of an anticipated bunch sprint. After taking second place the day before, Park Hotel Valkenburg's Lorena Wiebus was looking to go one better. Yeah, that's a good feeling. Uh, I've become second in that state, so uh, yeah, I hope for more today. Yeah, I look forward to uh, yeah to perform better and uh, yeah work as a team. And uh, I hope that I uh, could show my sprint again and uh, go for the win. I think that. Today will be the last chance for the sprinters, so I think we we will try again after yesterday. Bunch sprint was a fourth place, was okay, but I think we can do better. I think maybe it can be an early breakaway like yesterday, and you never know here in Ola with the wind, but today it, it, it will be most probably the last chance for the sprinters. So, yeah, uh, we are looking for the sprint and... Today it will be Ily again and hard and maybe the GC contenders will be a little bit quiet, quiet today, so we see. I'm looking forward to it. Um, I had some good last two stages and uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to today and tomorrow. I'm going to try, uh, it won't be easy, but yeah, we're only with three riders left, so we have to make the best of it. After the rollout, Silence's Amir Sapira was the very first rider to test out her breakaway skills and put them to good use, soloing to an impressive 3 minute 20 second lead by the stage's halfway mark. With 50 kilometres to go, that gap had even jumped a further 30 seconds, as the person seemed content to let the Israel National Road Race champion continue increasing her lead for the moment. In fact, it wasn't until just before entering the local circuit with under 30 kilometres left that the bunch decided it was time to take action. But at that point, there were still some questions over whether they had left it too late. Sapira was clearly tiring, however, and soon her lead began to come down rapidly. The 23-year-old battled on bravely, but with the bunch clawing back over a minute of her advantage before the 20 kilometre to go mark, things were looking ominous. Behind, meanwhile, other riders were beginning to try their luck out front. Amy Peters and Lisa Breno were attacking together and quickly gaining a 20-second gap. With 18k left, there was just 37 seconds behind Sapira and within the next few kilometres, the pair had joined the day's most aggressive rider at the head of the race. Sapira's previous efforts had taken their toll, however, and with Peters and Breno ploughing on without her, the youngster was left to be swallowed up by the peloton. The new leading duo also saw their own break come to an end not long after the 10k to go mark. But Peters wasn't giving up there and went again as the race headed into the final circuit before the finish. Fresh from her victory at the Grand Prix de Plouet, the Bowles Dolmans rider was clearly in fine form, but even she couldn't keep the chasing pack at bay, being reeled in just before the final kilometre. A bunch sprint was in store then and as the riders hit the finishing straight, Lorena Wiebus tried to surprise her rivals by kicking early. The 19-year-old Dutch talent had Amelia Diedrichsen on her wheel, however, and as she began to tire, her Danish counterpart made her move through the middle, holding off a surging Lucinda Brand to make it two sprint wins in a row. Brand's late burst saw her own second place, while Wiebus held on for third. In the GC, meanwhile, Van Floyten earns another day in the leader's jersey. Yeah, it's unbelievable. Um, I mean, today we agreed to sprint for Amy because I had the chance yesterday. Um, but then in the final laps, Amy was in the breakaway twice, so with one lap to go, Danny said in the radio, Emily, now we do the sprint for you. Um, so I kind of had to stretch my mind, and yeah, I'm, I'm really happy. Um, it was a really long sprint and really hard. I mean, we're really happy, of course, uh, at this, yeah, Bulls were as a, a sponsor and a sponsor for us too. It's, it's really good for the team. Um, yeah, and it gives us confidence, and hopefully we can, we can do something good again tomorrow. Uh, Probably it's not going to be three in a row for me, but hopefully we can do a three in a row for the team. It wasn't stage for me, it was all flat and I'm a little rider. Uh, I hope that someone will join me, but it, doesn't, it didn't happen. 
um, I just keep pushing. They catch me 15 k, uh, k to go. Of course, I'm happy that I win the jersey. It's my first jersey in a UCI race, so. Confirmation of the top 10 then with Virtue Cycling Barbara Goresi coming in fourth ahead of Lotu Soudal's Belgian track star Lottie Kebeki. And in the overall standings, Lucinda Brand jumps over Eugenia Bujak into second after earning six bonus seconds at the finish, reducing Van Fluyten's lead ahead of tomorrow's testing stage in Limburg.